just got a question. You know, the Jalen Rieger signing and everybody takes a crap on it so fast. You know, this was my second receiver going to this draft between C.D. Lamb getting Jalen Rieger at 21, okay? Thought we would have moved up, but didn't happen. But, you know, turning on, and I really don't watch it. I don't make videos on it. But watching Skip Bayless trash the Eagles of the Jalen Rieger pick, Jalen Rieger retweets it and pretty much says, okay, no problem. I'm going to show everybody, I'm going to prove everybody wrong. And and then his mother gets on Twitter and it's like, the Rieger era is coming. You got to watch out for it. It's just absolutely ridiculous what how they talk about this team. I don't really mind it. It is what it is. We're used to that underdog mentality. We're used to these, you know, media people always talk crap, especially Skip Bayless is one of the worst. So, obviously, we know where he stands with this team and what's going on. So, obviously, the Jalen Rieger pick is the worst pick. How can you deny this kid's skill set? You can line him up. You can line him up anywhere on the field. He's got four two two speed. It's not even just the speed, really, in a straight forty vertical virtual, the virtual you know pro day that he had, and this guy's gonna bring a lot to the table. I obviously think that Jalen Rieger could be rookie of the year. I honestly think he could. I honestly think he could. If Doug uses it the right way and this offense flourishes, I think, you know, I think because we have so many speedsters on this team, the ball is going to be going everywhere. It might not be fair to some players, but everybody is selfless on this team and no one cares about, you know, personal statistics, personal, you know, no one cares about the personal stats. That's why we won a Super Bowl in 17. There was no fights. No receivers weren't getting fights over uh, receiving yards or how many times he's getting the ball a game. No one gave a crap because we are all in this together. To hear stuff like this is just, it, it just, it baffles my mind. It really does because every player we pick is garbage. And let me tell you something. Like, I don't hype up every player that we do draft. I, I trust me. I don't do it. I said, this guy has maybe some high ceiling. Maybe it'll take a year or two. I'm very realistic on it. I'm not hyping everybody up when everyone gets drafted to the Eagles. It's not happening. But when it's your first round pick, you can't screw it up. And Howie Roseman didn't screw it up. Could he have moved up to get certain players? Of course, in CD Lamb that everybody was pissed off about. But at the end of the day, we have a wide receiver for the future. We have a wide receiver that's going to grow with Carson Wentz. We have a wide receiver that's going to spread this defense, even with D-Jack being gone in the next one to two years. You know, there's a lot of upside to this. You draft two guys and, and, and you know, and, uh, and Watkins, and Quez Watkins and, and, and Hightower for Boise State. I mean, you drafted some guys that really have some high ceiling and that could do some good things. You know what? And the media just craps on it. And that's fine. That's fine with us. I have Jalen Rieger. I can hit, I could see Jalen Rieger hitting 1,000 yards this year. I'm not just saying that because he's our first round pick and he's just the guy with the speed, but it's not the point. The point is, is that. Carson Wentz has had trouble with these receivers, and there are times where he has got a clean pocket. He's been moving very well in the pocket, and he's waiting there 10 days for a receiver to get open. Then he has to scramble. He gets sacked. He loses the, loses the football. I mean, some of, it, some of it is Carson Wentz's fault at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, these receivers got to be consistent. That's why Nelson Aguilar is not on this damn team anymore. You know why? Because too many up and down seasons. You got to be on a pace. You got to be on a consistent base level every single year, okay? There's not, you know, you can always have a down year, but you have got to be productive, especially if you're drafted in the first round. I expect you to be productive. I expect you to flourish in an offense, defense, whatever position you get drafted to. I expect some numbers in the rookie year, okay? And whatever the hell it is, I don't care what the media says if we're winning the East. We're not winning. We're here to win championships. We're here to win championships. Not NFC East championships like everyone else cares about. I want to win another Super Bowl, get our second ring on our fingers. That's what I want from this team. And Jalen Rieger, he said, okay, Skip, no problem. No, okay. I'm going to prove the doubters wrong. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to show what, what I got. And his mother went on Twitter and said the same thing. You're going to see the Rieger show. The Rieger show is coming to Philly and you better be there to see it. And I believed it. You know, Rieger has a lot of ties in Philadelphia. His father played here for a few years. He was in Super Bowl 42 uh, with the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, you know what I mean? So, and he came to Philly for a few years. So, I mean, you know, I, I like him being drafted here because there's some roots to it. You know, his family has played, a part of his family has played for this organization. So, I think it just fits in a lot better. And I think, you know, 
he gets, you know, Jalen Rieger gets to know what the fans are like. Jalen Rieger gets to know, like, what this organization is like. And obviously, with everything going on now, they're all about equality. And they let all these players express their opinions. And it does not matter. And no one fights about it on our team. No one has differences about it on our team. It has been, it has been like this for a long time. And Jeffrey Lurie is a very, you know open person okay he's not telling everyone to stand for the pledge you know pledge of allegiance or he's not telling he's not telling anybody to do that he lets all his players express themselves the way they want to express and what they believe in and that's the right thing to do you know what i mean so for that you know just to talk crap about you know just to hear like i i saw it and i was like uh, should i even make a video about it but Jalen Rieger is going to have a hell of a year next year, this year in 2020. You, you hate, you're, you're going to, you're going to see what this kid could do. Okay. And this isn't some guy that's going to come in and be a third, you know, a third down receiver. Okay. This isn't like trading for Golden Tate for a third round pick when you use him on third down plays. Okay. That's not like that. We don't have Mike Rowe here anymore. We don't have wide receiver coach Carson Walsh here anymore. We're coming in with all guns blazing. With it, I don't care if it's a track team. Well, a track team can't win you a Super Bowl. It don't matter. But you know what? If we have depth at that track team, we have depth at speed, we ain't going to lose a mark. And I can't wait to see Carson Wentz with all these guys that have the speed, have the separation, have the agility, have that blast off the line of scrimmage to do some good things. Okay? Screw what everyone else says. If you hear whatever you hear from other fan bases or hear from whatever, any, anything you hear on the news, don't believe it. Don't see it. You know what I mean? Like, see what the hell they say. You know what I mean? And then just, just turn it off and just, you know what? Just be, just, just be happy that this team is going to be playing this year, and it's going to be a hell of a damn year for the Eagles, man. I can't wait for Jan, uh, Jalen Rieger to hit that field this year. You have no idea how excited I am to see that guy just tear off and burn everybody down the field. I can't wait for it. I can't, and I hope you guys enjoy the Rieger show this year. So. I will see you guys later. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll get, I'll get back to as many people as I can. Let me know what you guys think about this. I will see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly, let's fly.